we will create a toaster select the cube go to left view we'll scale the cube as z and as x now go to edit mode press tab control b for the bevel and scroll up to increase the edge loops and we'll be with this thing now edit mode control r to add the edge loop Now we'll add more edge loops. Control R, four edge loops. Select this one and this one. S X. S X. Now go to face mode. Select this. press e to extrude and extrude it down now again left and one more edge loop we we'll add one more edge loop control r and in the center select this Now let's add the subdivision surface modifier. Go to modifier tab, select the subdivision surface, and render is two and level view two. Right click, shade smooth. Now we'll fix this thing. Control R. It is fixed now. Now we'll make slot for buttons. Go to edit mode, control R and control R. Add two more edge loops. Select this two. S X. Together, select this three.
select this one I and insert it now left mode x-ray and we'll extrude it inside Now we will create a button shift shift a mesh cylinder we'll scale it down press s move forward go to edit mode press tab select vertices and now I and scale inside rotate it we'll rotate that R X 9 0 little big make it select this and scale down little bit and make it little small Z and S Y subdivision surface here also and to this also Let's move it back. We'll make it little 
small modifier and shade smooth we'll add edge loops control R Now let's make bread. We'll hide this toaster. Now go to front view. We'll add the cube. Shift A, mesh and cube. 
scale it to y axis s y and make it thin go to front view press tab for the edit mode at the edge loop control r add one more edge loop control r alt z for the transparent view and now select the top and scale it to s uh, scale it to x axis s x for the object mode alt z we'll add the modifier subdivision surface to subdivision surface and label view make it 3 and the render also 3 now press tab for the edit mode now we will add two edge loops control r and one is here front view Add one edge loop at the bottom, Ctrl R. One edge loop here also. for the face mode and select outer faces now duplicate those shift D press P and selection to separate them now we have two objects this is the inner and this is the outer portion now press tab select all press a and extrude it e s and extrude it little bit now unhide this Now unhide the toaster, select the braid, braid is very big comparing to toaster so scale it down. RZ90, scale it little bit big. Now our bread and toaster is ready.